Well, Cheryl, we always just find ourselves in overtime hockey here in the PWHL playoffs for the first time here in the finals. Overtime was needed, double overtime, actually. And so what a sequence of events it was. It was two minutes and 34 seconds left. We all thought it was over. We thought Minnesota won this championship. Sophie Jakes, an incredible goal, Cheryl, but turns out that wasn't the case. No, it would be goaltender interference, so there would be no triple overtime, and we thought that this was going to end it. Heisey, though, as she's driving the net, it is deemed with the central review system back in Toronto as well as the official that this was goaltender interference because as Heise is driving the net she is on her way down she's cutting it real tight with her edges and she's going down so it is deemed that she went in of her own free will and that no goal is called Aaron Franklin wasn't able to move freely in her crease so of course that gave Boston some much needed momentum which they were able to capitalize on and just a minute and ten later they were able to, to do it and finish the deal. It took the light right out of Excel Energy Center and straight off that face-off Boston an excellent opportunity. Alina Mueller had a great chance with Cheryl as you mentioned just one minute and 10 seconds later she picked that corner. Yeah in 10 seconds after that goal was not allowed Mueller got that shot on net so you could certainly tell that Minnesota really was still feeling it and then of course a turnover happens up high and it's going to be Shazal does a brilliant job with the diagonal pass to Mueller who's really strong on her stick here she said I gotta try and find a way to get this to the net she used Jake's as the screen to beat Hensley and man oh man it was a bench that went absolutely nuts and it silenced Excel Energy Center a crowd that thought a minute and 10 seconds earlier that that team was going to hoist the Walter Cup but Mueller says uh-uh and they just leave they exit ice quickly because they know that they got to get on a plane and get back to Boston for game five. Game five is needed a big night for Aaron Frankel as well her first shutout here in the playoffs stopping all 33 shots she saw tonight and so a game five it'll all come down to this who will be the first to hoist the Walter Cup.